Hey there Tesla fans, good morning. Uh, Sunday morning and I know I typically put out my videos on Saturdays but uh, we'll get to that here in just a few minutes. But wanted to make a video as part of my one year ownership of a Tesla Model Y. And today's video is my top five reasons why I would buy a Tesla Model Y again. And actually top five reasons why you should buy a Tesla Model Y. So without further ado, let's dive into it. But before we do, I want to thank our new sponsors for the channel, and that is Vosh Auto Care. Um, I will put the website down below, but it's a new sponsor. I haven't gotten the product yet, so once I get the product, I'll do a video on it, a review on it. Um, great car wash company. They've got all the stuff you need. They've got the accessories, the towels. They've got interior, exterior everything you need to keep your car clean so go check them out at voshautocare.com uh, and i'll have the website down below and if you use rats tesla at checkout you get 15 percent off but without further ado let's get into those top fives of this video Before I get too far into it, I do want to say that these top five are not necessarily in order. These are just my top five. I'm not going to do a countdown from five to one. This is just my top five and stay tuned to the end. I've got a couple bonuses and I'm even going to throw in a couple things that I would like to see Tesla improve on before I buy my next Model Y, but that'll come at the end. So make sure you stick around to the end to catch those. The first one is the storage of this Tesla. I love the fact that I have a nice big frunk. You'll see in here, I carry my car cover in my frunk because I live in Northern Colorado and we get hail sometimes. So what I like to carry in my frunk is my car cover. Now when I go on road trips, I take that out. We get hail here, so I like to have it convenient. It's a nice heavy duty car cover. If you wanna see a video on that, drop a comment down below. And if you wanna see a video on that, I'll do a video on that. But on top of the frunk, I mean, you just got tons of space on the inside. The leg room on the inside is just fantastic. I, I love driving and riding in it. My kids ride in the back. You can see that the seat is, is back in what I have called easy entry mode and it's in the front and i still have an inch or so leg room now when i drive it'll go way farther forward by about six inches so i at six one would have plenty of room back here for a comfortable ride and then as we move to the back i mean there is just so much space in the back of this car to be able to haul stuff and be able to take the big things and then on top of that you've still got sub trunk space down here i typically carry my kit for my in case i get a flat or a nail i've got a, a repair kit right there but i mean there's just so much space underneath there underneath here there's about four inches of depth of space that i just have stuff that i very rarely use and then you've got pockets on the side. I keep my car care stuff over here. Um, this will be changed out for Vosh car care stuff once I get it. And then on this side, I kind of just have some, some random stuff uh, for, for my other job that I do. I have a hat, a little chair, but just random stuff. But the storage in this thing gets even better. If there's bigger things you need to haul, there's two buttons here on the side. If you pull those buttons, you'll see it drops the seats. And now I've got tons of room to be able to haul stuff. I will tell you, I bought uh, tile and grout for my bathroom and I was able to haul it in here no problem and it was a lot of tile and grout and it was was very very good so storage in this car is top notch all right number two on my list is kind of in in step with the storage and that is the ability to be able to haul passengers like I said I have I have two daughters, 21 and 17, and they're both about five, six, and they love to ride in the back of my Tesla Model Y. My wife has a Tiguan, and this actually has just a little bit more space behind the rear seats. Now on the passenger side, this one's set up for my wife. Again, I'm 6'1", and you can see 
I still have tons of leg room and, and comfort ride in here. Now, one of the things that's really cool that people might not show you is, so the seat is set to the upright position, but on top, you can take this and you can put the seat down, but you can also lean the seat back. So you'll see here that the seat is leaned back about two inches and that just gives you a little bit more of a comfortable ride instead of standing straight or sitting straight up i mean you can see i have a good four or five inches of headroom back here and i can sit comfortably with my legs stretched out a little bit they go underneath the seats there's room to put another passenger in the middle because there is no transmission hump here the middle seat now becomes a viable seat and an easy place for someone to sit and then on a tesla model y you can also get and this is not one you can also get a seven passenger and basically where this open area is in the back would be another seat there's not a lot of room that would be in there for feet and then there's not a lot of room for headroom but if you have smaller children, they would easily be comfortable riding in the back uh, two seats if you get the seven seater. But like I said, for a family of four, this is super comfortable to ride in. We are taking it on a road trip here in a couple weeks to South Dakota. And my kids actually want to take this over the Tiguan because the seats in this are super comfortable. With the white interior, we actually call the seats marshmallows because you just kind of sink into them. So this is number two on my list. All right, I kind of alluded to my number three already, but number three on my list of top five reasons I would buy a Model Y again and why you should buy one too, is it is the perfect car for road trips. Now, I know road trips can be full of anxiety. A lot of people stress about going on road trips, uh, the long drives, the stopping for gas and all that stuff. But the thing I like about uh, uh, EV is it kind of slows you down a little bit. It takes the stress out of the car ride. If you are willing to do a little bit more in a day, and here's what I mean by that. So my, and I actually have a video on my road, first road trip I took. I'll put a link in the description below and I'll also put it up in the top, somewhere up in the top. I'm not sure which side it'll pop up on. But my wife and I took a road trip at separate times, her and her VW Tiguan. And again, it's brand new. It has less than 4,000 miles on it. This has almost 20,000 miles on it. And we took the exact same route her road trip was about, and it was 650 miles each direction. So 1300 miles round trip. That 1300 miles round trip took me about three hours longer because of charging stops. Now I will tell you on the way back, I had one charging stop where the charger was extremely slow. So I think that added to the time, but we'll stick with three hours over 1300 miles. However, comma, that road trip cost my wife $370 in fuel in her Tiguan. She gets about 26 miles per gallon on the highway and she has to put premium fuel in that car. So it's about $370 round trip. For me in charging costs, it was just over $117. One third the price that it costs fuel. So this is the perfect car for road trips. And storage wise, you can haul so much in this thing. We're getting ready to go on another road trip. We're gonna be taking a, a blow up kayak and a, a blow up paddle board, all our luggage and everything for this road trip. And it is going to fit in here, no problem. So this car is absolutely perfect for road trips. Like I said, you just have to be a little patient it's gonna add a little bit of time to your trip. If you, if you think about my South Dakota road trip, it was 650 miles one way. It added just about an hour and a half worth of time to the drive, but it was one third the price. And to add to that, I have a bad back. 
Um, I'm older. I know I don't look necessarily older, but I'm older. I'm in my 50s, and I don't like to drive for 400 miles or six hours without stopping. I need to stop every couple hours. I need to get out and stretch my back. I need to get out and empty my bladder. I need to get some snacks. I need to do all those kinds of things, or I start getting angry on the road. And then the last piece of information that I'll share with you for why this is perfect for road trips, and that is autopilot. The autopilot takes the stress out of the drive and makes it such an easy drive. When I get to a destination after a long drive, I don't have road fatigue. I'm not exhausted, I'm not tired, because all I really have to do is just kind of keep my hand on the yoke and just let things go. The car will change lanes when it needs to change lanes. It'll get back over when it needs to get back over. It's just such a comforting ride that it makes things so much nicer when you get to a location. So that is number three on my list and that is that this car is perfect for road trips. Number four on my list is is kind of an opinion but there's a lot of facts built into it. Teslas are expensive. A Tesla Model Y, I think when all was said and done for mine, I spent 68,000, 69,000, somewhere in that frame. So they're, they're a little expensive, but uh, one, I'm a technology junkie, so I love tech and I love the fact that you know, there's such a big screen in the car, it's computer, it's EV, it's good for the environment. And I know there's people gonna come comment and say, oh, the carbon footprint and all the stuff to mine the stuff for the batteries. You know what? In the long run, this carbon footprint is less on this than it is on a gas car. But I'm not going to get into that debate or that argument. But I will tell you, it is a little expensive up front. But I'm coming from a 2016 Ram 1500. It was lifted with 35 inch tires on it. I got, if I was lucky, and if I drove it nice and barely hit the accelerator off the line, I got about 12 miles per gallon. I also had it tuned, so I had to put the expensive gas in it. So I figure for my weekly average in miles, it would cost me about $125 a week in gas right now. I spent, that's about $500 a month. I spend about $50 a month in electricity to charge this car. So I'm saving $450 a month in fuel costs. And so about every two months of savings in fuel costs, I pay for the next month's car payment. So one third of my car payments are paid for based on savings in fuel. So if I were to take that savings off and say that I'm only paying for two thirds of the car in the long run, if I keep it and pay it off, that $70,000 car now becomes roughly $23,000 less, that puts it at about 47,000. That number is a little bit easier to chew and bite off than $70,000 is. So keep that in mind. While it might be expensive up front, it is going to pay you back over time. The longer you keep it, the more you drive it, the better your savings are going to be and the better it's going to be for your pocketbook. Okay, so the fifth thing on my list and the fifth reason why I would buy another Model Y and why I think you should buy one too is how safe this vehicle is. Back in December of 2021, this Tesla Model Y received the highest possible IIHS safety rating um, that you can get. It is five star rated. This car is is so safe. I'll tell you, I'll put some art links to articles down below, but when you start looking at videos and, and safety numbers for this car, you will see and understand that, um, that it, it is super safe. For one, they couldn't even roll the car. It's so hard to roll. The way the car is built, the crumple zones on it are are good enough that 
I, I've seen stories where people roll their cars down a cliff or get into a massive accident and they walk away with scratches. Now, sure, there's always going to be, you know, accidents that kill people or people get severely injured. And that's the case with every vehicle. But if you're in a Tesla, your odds of getting injured or killed, I believe, in my opinion, are drastically reduced because this car is so safe. Like I said, it earned the top tier IIH safety rating. Um, when you look at the NHTSA, they gave it a five-star safety rating. So it's not just one agency giving it a five-star rating. It's multiple agencies that test vehicles for safety that is giving it a top rating. So I am 52 and safety is not necessarily a factor for me when it comes to buying a vehicle. Like I don't look that stuff up before I buy a vehicle, but now hindsight, knowing how safe this vehicle is, and that if I put my family in it and I go on a trip, they're going to be safe if something should happen. That just makes me feel that much better. So the fact that this car is as safe as it is, is just fantastic. It is it is comfortable, it is a safety uh, perfection when it comes to the ratings. It's five star rating, it's top notch. Um, like I said, I'll put a link to a bunch of articles down below that you can read so you understand how safe this car is. But with that, that's our top five. So let's get into a few honorable mention things that I like about this car and then a couple things that I'd like to see them update, fix, and, and take care of. All right, I have two bonus features for you as I close the, the doors and the sun glare gets you. I have two bonus features for you. The first one is that this car just freaking looks sick. It has such a cool body line to it. We'll close some of these other, other uh, doors here, the rear and, and the front and then we'll go up to the front and close it. But the body lines on this car are just amazing. I love, I love the looks of it. And you will see I have a power frunk. I added that from Handshow. You can check it out in my dis description below. I have a link and a discount code. But the body lines on this car, I mean, it's just got such a clean, swoopy look. I love the spoiler on the back. Now, I did change my spoiler out from the factory one and put on something just a little bit different with this V spoiler. But it's just such a clean look. And the cool thing is, is this car, my car is dirty right now. You might be able to tell in the video, but with this red multi-coat paint, even when it's dirty, it looks good. I mean, this car looks good. There is, there is not a car that I like better than the way this one looks. Now I did change out my rims and tires. I put 20 inches on here and I'm actually getting ready to drop it about an inch, inch and a half to get rid of some of that wheel gap. And then I think this car is gonna look that much better. But I just love the looks and the styling of this car. The red combination with the red exterior and the white interior, man, this car just pops. And when I go to meet and greets and when I go to car shows, and I get a lot of people asking me about this car just because of the things that I have done to it and the things that I have not done to it, but the colors of this car. And then my other bonus is comfort. I know you'll hear a lot of people that will talk about the rough ride of a Model Y. And I don't disagree with that all the time. In Northern Colorado and in Colorado in general, and I know a lot of other places, you get bumpy roads because of potholes. With those potholes, it, the ride becomes a little bit rougher. With the 21 inch wheels on the performance model, which this one is, if I haven't mentioned that, that's this is a performance model. The 21 inch wheels that come on this car are a little bit rougher. I changed to 20s for a couple reasons. One, an all season tire is easier to get in a 20 inch rim. And two, I wanted just a little bit more rubber to be able to give me a little bit more of a comfortable ride. And then I'm gonna put some lowering springs on it that are also made to comfort the ride out just a little bit. But overall, this car is super comfortable. The seats in it 
like I said, we call these the marshmallows. They are so comfortable and they are so easy to keep clean. I know people want to ask that question all the time, but the comfort overall in this car is is probably one of the most comfortable cars I've owned. And I've owned a lot of cars. I've driven in a lot of places on the Autobahn. I've had BMWs on the Autobahn. And I would have to say that this is probably one of the most comfortable cars that I have ever ridden in. All right, so now what are some of the things that I would like to see Tesla change? There's not a lot. I would have to say, and this is probably a little controversial as I turn my camera around, I would have to say probably one of the things that I would like to see them do is to add a screen in front. One, you know, I can bring this screen and change it and have my miles per hour right up here. I have my gen and my regen and my charge and how much I'm using. Everything is on this screen. And I would like to see Tesla add something like that. If you want to add something like this, you can get it from Handshow and I will put a link in the description down below and you can get a discount on that if you use Rats Tesla. And right now I believe they're still having their summer savings event going on and you can get 20% off using Rats Tesla. Super easy to put in, but uh, I, would, I would like to see them add that as well. And then the other thing I would like to see them add is a screen swivel. So as my phone falls off, cause I hit the thing there, I added a screen swivel again from Handshow and you can go get your very own from Handshow as well. This one swivels left and right and tilts up and down. And I like it because when I'm the driver and I'm the only one in the seat, I want this cockpit all to be about me, the driver. And so having this be able to happen in the Y and the three would be cool. I know they're starting to add it in the refreshed model X and the refreshed model S. So adding it into the Tesla model Y would be uh, very easy, very cheap, and a really cool feature to add for Tesla owners. All right, that'll do it for today's video. My top five reasons why I would buy another Tesla model Y and why you should buy one too with a couple bonus and a couple things that I'd like to see them update and fix. Now, those updates, the screen and the, the swivel screen, are those gonna stop me from buying another Tesla? Absolutely not. I absolutely will probably always have an electric vehicle from this point forward and more than likely it will be a tesla i love technology i love the way this car is set up i love the comfort of it i love the looks i get and the conversations that i get to have because i have one now i do think that having a tesla is not for everybody but there are so many great electric vehicles that are coming out right now that i've been able to get to look at um, i think that i would buy another ev for my wife like i said i just got her this tiguan maybe six months ago so i would say it's probably going to be a couple years before we get another electric vehicle but I, I would say it's going to be an electric vehicle and it might not be a Tesla, although I would like to get her the new refresh Model X, but I've seen a lot out there. Maybe the Rivian R1T or the R1S when it starts getting delivered. Maybe the Kia EV6 or the um, Hyundai Ioniq 5. Those two look nice. I also like the Genesis GV60. Nice looking car. So we'll see. There's a lot of new and, and cool EVs coming out on the market right now that could end up in my garage next to this but that's years and years down the road but thanks for joining us today thanks for watching make sure you click that subscribe button down below hit the bell that way you get notified when we put out new videos i will tell you my video content is probably going to slow down to sundays i know you see me wear a lot of northern colorado bears gear and that's because i am a sports broadcaster for northern colorado and our seasons are getting ready to kick off with football and basketball after that so i get a little bit busy when football happens and so my video production is going to slow down to probably one a week and i'm probably going to drop them on sundays because saturdays i'm a little bit busy with football so make sure you hit that bell button so that you know when i drop a new video if there's any anything you want to see me but do a video on make sure you drop a comment below also 
add to my list. My top five reasons are mine. If you have another thing that you want to add into that, why you would buy a Tesla again or why someone else should buy a Tesla, drop that in the comment below to help add to that pile of comments. And as always, drop a like to the video. It doesn't hurt you, but it helps the channel out. It helps us continue to get our videos out there and it helps us to help you. But uh, as always, I want to say thanks for watching. Get out, go drive, be safe, and we will catch you in the next video.